presidential speech writer, columnist, Fortune magazine, author of the little book of bulletproof investing. Stephanie Miller, talk radio host of her own program. Dana Lash is co-founder of the St. Louis Tea Party and a talk radio host as well of The Dana Show. And Nancy Giles, social commentator and performer, and a contributor to CBS's Sunday Morning. Let's go around reaction to this uh, dispute and what we just heard, Ben. Well, it's interesting. I know lots of people in the Tea Party movement. I've never heard one racist word out of any of them, and I was quite suspicious about it. Uh, to start with, I thought it must be some kind of cover for racist feelings. And I've questioned people, clo people very close to me about it, very intensely. Never hear a racist word out of any of them. What do you make it a billboard? <laughs> uh, it was an uh, act of a very, very reckless and uh, stupid person. Stephanie? Even uh, the other teabaggers, I loved that they, they actually didn't, uh, you know, they condemned the sign, but only because they thought it was a waste of money. One of the leaders we quoted today said, well, he is sort of Hitler-esque. But it was not a good, uh, you know, you know, spending of money. And I thought, what? How can you be Hitler-esque? I mean, the <laughs> thing is, just the, the Tea Party is going to do nothing but hurt the Republican Party, and I couldn't be happier. Dana, you're co-founder of the St. Louis Tea Party. What do you make of all of this? I think Stephanie's comment about teabaggers. What are we on the playground here? I mean, seriously, we're on we're on Larry King's show. Let's keep it classy. Uh, my whole thing about they call this is that teabaggers. No, they, they don't. I was actually talking about your comment, their but I'm not done talking. So. My whole my okay. whole thing with this is that uh, the the Iowa the the Tea Party in Iowa with the billboard. Here's the difference in this situation: when the Tea Party movement sees the kooks within its own party, they get drummed out if there are any. This billboard maybe it went a little bit too extreme. Maybe it went a little bit too far beyond the bounds of bit? good taste. Stephanie, I'm not done, sweetie. Maybe it went <laughs> okay. a little bit beyond right, the bounds sweetheart. of good taste. But the thing All is, right, the talk. Tea Party movement went ahead and they, they repudiated that. When the NAACP, when Kenneth Gladney was being made fun of at an NAACP sponsored press conference in St. Louis and Harold Crumpton, who's on the board of the NAACP, stood by and laughed along as people at that press conference called a black conservative activist or someone affiliated with the Tea Party, an Uncle Tom and a Negro, the NAACP didn't uh, condemn that at all. So I think Okay, this is wait a minute. Right. Wait Let's a minute. Let's get Nancy John. Nancy, what do you make yeah. of all this? Well, where is the Tea Party's uh, outrage when members of their own party spit on members of the United States. That was States. proof false. You know Let's what? It wasn't in proof false. And libel. Excuse me, that. I'm talking, so shut your mouth. Well, be Where honest you? when you Excuse speak, me. I won't have to interrupt you. Excuse me, be please truthful be quiet. And I won't have to. Hey, be quiet. Where were just you guys when... You know, Larry, can you just turn off our mic? This is ridiculous. No, All no, I'm saying I'll is... I'll run the show, Nancy. Go ahead. I'm so sorry. They just... The, the thing that is so disturbing to me about the Tea Party is that their racist attitudes and the elements of the Tea Party that are racist and violent, that show up with racist and violent imagery in their posters, that show up at rallies with guns, that show up and intimidate, emotionally intimidate people, helps move the conservative, you know, farther, closer and closer into in contaminating the mainstream, doing things like no, criticizing point. Thurgood ben, Marshall. You are a conservative. Does the Tea Party movement help or hurt your concept? Uh, I think it's going to hurt us in the election because it's going to divide the vote, frankly. But uh, yes. but I think it's going. But I think. But I but I admire their their attitudes, and it is not even slightly about racism. And the people who carry guns at those rallies are in parts of the country where people just habitually carry guns. I mean, my wife and I live in North Idaho during the summer. When we go to restaurants, people just have guns lying around in their cars because there's a lot of hunting there. So and that's just not honest. Well, that's not honest. It's completely honest. That's not honest. There was a, there's there's a, 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 if there was a black conservative candidate who brought a gun against him, they would have put it out Just a minute, just a minute Nancy. It's completely honest. Nancy's not talking. You weren't. Nancy, I was there. You weren't, with all due respect. These are very fine, wonderful people. They happen to carry guns in their cars. Ben, they're not if it was a guns, black after rally, was black if it was too, a black rally, rally I, would I people carry guns? You know that the response Nancy, would be different. I, Nancy, I didn't even say We're it talking rally. about rallies right now, Ben. Ben, said we're talking about rallies. Nancy, ben, I can we're talking hear, about we're, rallies. Nancy, I can yeah, hear. Said they're talking about I, rallies. I said there are we're talking about rallies. Parts of the there are certain parts of the country where people carry guns routinely. At rallies, Ben, I'm not saying, 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 I
Oh, ben, I'm not saying you're conservative or a lot of conservatives I know are racist, but you can't ignore that you've seen these kind of racist signs at Tea Party rallies well, and, and this kind of rhetoric. You can't just... I can't ignore that there are irresponsible people in every part of the political spectrum, but the idea that a person who carries a gun is a racist and plans to use that when gun against African Americans... When they have a sign next to it that's threatening... That says, that says, I'm going to use this gun on Obama. There's nobody who's been shown to do that. That's just made up. Uh, let me get a break. And guys, what we're going to do is break. The panel will return.